someone from the dark. Welcome to incels.is, an extremely popular incel forum averaging hundreds of increasingly concerning posts every day, varying from common discussions like working out, video games, and enjoying media, to of course their favorite discussions like eugenics. Wait, what the fuck, eugenics? I didn't write that. Comments like extreme racism, assaulting women, intentionally being creepy, making fun of people's bodies, and several other things are extremely common among incels in this forum. And of course, expressing their hatred of femoids or foids being women. Yes, this server is teeming with posts that would make any sensible individual want to hurl themselves over an overpass at Mach 10. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. This is a place where any incel can place their deepest, most interesting thoughts. And since we're here, why don't we go through the deepest and most interesting thoughts of your average incel? Such as... Come on, man, what the fuck is you doing, cuz? I've grabbed just a couple posts from this incel forum that I thought were particularly interesting during my study and scrolled through it. Why don't we go through just a couple of posts and if this video gets liked enough, maybe we can go through some more in the future. That being said, let's get straight into it. Every now and then, I check up on my one itis's Instagram to StockMax. There go another player tip. You gotta kill yourself. Just to watch her live how perfect her little fucking life is with her rich parents who give her everything while I'm rotting in my room with an empty fridge. A year and a half ago, I sent her a long paragraph about how she ruined my life for rejecting me and breaking my heart. She rejected me over five years ago by friend zoning me while having a BF, and I knew her since we were little kids because she was a family friend and I always saw her family functions. I told her I wanted to rope and she freaked out and called my aunt who she was close to my family. My aunt called my mother up screaming saying I needed help. She read the paragraph I sent to her, my mother, and she called me a psychopath. This absolutely effing traumatized me, and my one-itis obviously made her account private after this. For a whole year though, she kept making it public for me to see, even knowing I can just make new accounts to StockMax. She knows how much torment she caused me over the years because she doesn't give a- But recently she was- she made her profile picture her and her new boyfriend. She isn't even- This isn't even her first boyfriend, it's some- Looking skater boy from her college. Pure fucking rage fuel and rope fuel. She knows that she made my life miserable and she continues to rub her perfect life in my face as I rot in my Roman stalker Instagram like a true cell I am. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like this guy has the accountability of a hamster. You said you wanted to end your life over getting rejected by a girl who you saw at a family function. You said your life was ruined by a girl who had no interest in you to begin with. You said your life was worthless because some girl was not interested in you. You stalk her Instagram pages, make fun of the men she dates, but desperately wants to be the man she's dating. Ugh, what the fuck? When people say that incels have an intense entitlement to the bodies of women and to women, they do. They have a nearly narcissistic level of only being able to see their perspective and view things from their situation. If you opened your eyes and peeled your eyes back a little bit, maybe most incels would realize that why would you want to date a girl who's not interested in you and is interested in another guy? Why would she want to entertain a relationship with a guy who doesn't even like himself nor does he love himself? Why would she want to be with a man whose entire existence is his own self-hatred and self-pity with no want to get better, but rather to sink into his own misery and sadness? Why would any person want to date somebody or be around somebody like that? Especially somebody with a mindset just as disgusting. You are stalking, harassing, overreacting, and generally being a creep around a girl who has expressed to you that she does not like you that way and will never be interested. Not only did she do that, but she furthered that by continuing to go date other men. You're weird. You're creepy. At that point, you're trespassing on somebody's property. Like, why are you, why are you doing this? At a certain point, I think incels need to develop some kind of self-awareness and be like, hey, hmm, maybe I should let go of the girl who rejected me once five years ago. Maybe it's not her fault that I'm a creep that cannot socially interact with people and that I've been following around harassing and stalking her for five years for no reason. Maybe I'm just a weirdo, but I don't know. What do I know? At this point, any suffering that you blame on this girl is entirely your own fault. Your inability to move on is your fault. You're stalking her, your fault. Hell, maybe even the fact that she rejected you is also a reflection of it being your fault. Maybe you have traits within you that maybe she did like you at a point, but clearly you have so much fucked up shit going on with you that I don't even think you'd be worthy to date anybody right now. I think you probably need some therapy or to jump off of a cliff. I don't know. Somebody like you deserves to be hit in the street by a fucking moving bus. 
It's people like your ass that doesn't deserve to live. You deserve to be destroyed. You're on Earth for literally no fucking reason. You deserve to I think we need to give this short men don't get respect or nobody likes short men argument a rest. Seriously, there's been so many examples of men who are short or average height or slightly above average height pulling very attractive women. Just like how there are examples of very unattractive men pulling attractive women. The fact is, one trait does not write who you are as a person, even if it's an outstanding physical trait that everybody is going to perceive. Incels will try to no avail to take any kind of accountability or try to deal with the cards they're dealt. And this is my major problem with their mindset. I've said this over the course of like four videos, but this is what makes people not have any empathy for incels. It's the fact that in this world, nobody is owed anything. You spawn into this world with what you have. If you're lucky, you might have something. If you're unlucky, you won't. The problem is incels think that they're owed something for existing. They think that just because you exist, you, you deserve attraction from a woman. You deserve a good life. You deserve things to be easy. You don't. Everything's going to be hard. Everything's going to require nuance. Everything's going to require difficulty. If you're a man worth any salt, worth actually dating, women will see that you're out here dealing with your cards you have the best and i guarantee some girl will appreciate that you cannot be mad about something that a 15 year old girl did to you when you were in high school or an 18 year old girl did to you when you just graduated or a 20 year old girl did to you when when you were in college there is billions of people on this earth if you're going to ruin your life after being hung up over three girls in your life just pack it up man you're clearly not fit to date but yes i do think hype matters it absolutely does it's a part of your attractiveness and it's a way people can perceive you comma i would like to say that being tall is overhyped it does have benefits it does come with upsides however just as there are downsides to being short there are downsides to being tall you are socially perceived a little bit better but i think there are plenty of short men out there who pull far more women than me and i'm a tall person that being said let's go to the next post mods crush the skull this is one of the more tamer posts but i still had a big thing to say about this the incel community does believe in the idea of nihilism for the most part it's a very consistent thing within their community that their outlooks are not only very pessimistic but even straight up nihilistic they encourage things like self-harm they encourage things like giving up and they encourage things like rotting they encourage young people young men to give up on romance and give up on living a happy life if their circumstances are even just a little bit harder than your average person and this post paints that very very vividly he literally says if you're browsing this forum it's already over for you asking for advice would imply that there's hope which i think that yeah if you sink so low to the point where you're asking for advice on incels.is you're either extremely misguided or you dead ass have no other option and I absolutely agree. I think if you're on the incel forums asking for advice that to a degree you are already pretty too far gone. In order to take the incels like mindset, you have to be in a really dark place or be extremely immature. There's either really two ways you can take the incel mindset. Either one, you're a grown man and you're deeply mentally ill. Or two, you're a young man and you're deeply misguided. And those are the only two really. Either way, you pretty much have to be messed up enough or stupid enough to take the incel mindset into account because the things that these men, that in order to call yourself an incel, you would have to co-sign all of the behavior that these men exhibit. And when I tell you that when I scrolled through the server, I damn near lost my appetite for about three days because I'm talking about casual videos of people getting hit by trains and they're laughing at this shit. Casual videos of women getting assaulted and they're laughing at this shit. Posts talking about the most degenerate, disgusting, messed up, twisted things. Like, yeah, incels really should not be dating. I think we should really just lock them up in like a stadium and like let them like hunger games themselves out of it. Like, not gonna lie, we should not allow them to integrate back into society any more than they have already. I mean, granted, most of them don't even leave their houses, which is an upside for us, but still. My overall take for this post is that I obviously disagree with his method of telling people to give up on having happy, well-adjusted lives. At the end of the day, though, I'm not gonna sit here and argue with what an incel thinks is good advice, as scrolling through the server, I think I've gotten a grasp that most of these guys probably shouldn't just be speaking to other humans in general. We should probably, like, push them out into, like, some random cave in the Afghan mountains, like they're, like, some kind of, like, biblically accurate giant, and just keep them out there. Like, treat them like fucking mythical creatures. Do not let them, like, come around people at all. I think incels just are fucked up deeply, people, and they really should not be around people. That being said, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And if you do and this video gets well received, I will make a part two going through more posts because trust me, there are posts upon posts to go through. That being said, ETK out. Goodbye. Someone from the dark.